we are here because these fascists we need to provide ourselves. We can't wait till 2018. We can't definitely can't wait till 2020. which is a movement of people from a lot of different perspectives, everybody who recognizes that the Trump-Pence regime is a fascist regime, that it poses a catastrophic danger to all of humanity, and that it is up to us to take the responsibility, the masses of people in this country, to drive them from power through massive, sustained, nonviolent political protest. Every day, this regime is slamming ahead and imposing a nightmare on humanity, and every day it gets normalized. And what we're calling for and what we've come together around is that the people have to rise up from below. And we're going to do this protest not just for one day and go home and hope somebody listens. We're going to come back every day, day after day, night after night, and we are going to grow from many thousands to tens of thousands to millions. And we're not going to stop until the regime is driven from power. We embrace anybody who wants to participate in the mobilizations that we do. We invite them in. Okay. Whether you've been part of Antifa, whether you've been part of camp. Look, Hillary Clinton, She's a war criminal. I can't stand her. I, I'm happy to stand shoulder to shoulder with people who campaign for her. I did all week, you know, and that's refused fascism. We invite and welcome Antifa. Part of recognizing that the Trump-Pence regime is a fascist regime, it's not just the worst Republican administration that's ever been, it's a fascist regime, is recognizing that the normal channels of politics as usual, the elections, even protest as usual, um, is not sufficient to stop a fascist regime and by every significant major definition. And there's differences among them. The Trump-Pence regime fits all of them.